You too. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Hey, man. Look here, man. Look here, man. Nah, it's, it's gonna be a bright day. Uh, the sun is just beaming right on my face, so I'm gonna try to shoot this video for y'all. Um, hopefully this is something good, man. I, I'm really excited for what I'm about to share. Uh, it's March 23rd, 6.30 a.m. I would have done it a little earlier, but it was it was a little too dark. Now it's all bright, so I can't hardly see. So if I crash, uh, yeah, it's going to suck. But anyway, I just wanted to ask the question, uh, are you a planter or a grower? Um, whether it comes to business, uh, your motivation, just anything that you're doing, are you a planter or a grower? Meaning, you know, one of, one of the questions that I ask is if you're planting, what you're doing is uh, you're putting down a seed to, I still can't see. You're putting down a seed um, and hoping that it's gonna grow. Meaning you just plant the seed, you leave it alone, you never come check it. Uh, you don't even water this bad boy. You can care less about any of that stuff. That is a planter. Like, is that what you do for your business? Uh, in real estate, this is something that would be, you know, detrimental to you. If you go out there and you just put your cards down uh, at a random table, you go to Jack in the Box, put your cards down or something like that, and you just hope, hey, you know, I'm gonna start getting business because I put my cards down in Jack in the Box. I go there all the time, so it should be, you know, great business. That's not gonna happen. You're gonna end up failing in business, so you're gonna be in real estate for a whole year, two years, three years, however long uh, of your, your real estate career, and you're not gonna make anything. You're never gonna get any kind of business. Um, the thing that I, I don't wanna do is be a planner. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go in there and, you know, put my name out there one time and just hope it succeeds um, or make one YouTube video or one Facebook post or one Snapchat. I don't want to, I don't want to do any of that. Um, I just picked up Instagram. So if, if you're not following me on Instagram, start to follow me, check it out. But uh, I don't want to put just one item out there, one, one piece of information and then hope that that works. Um, what I want to do is I want to be a grower. What a grower is, is a whole lot more than just a planter. A grower is actually gonna plant that seed. A grower is gonna make sure that that seed is covered correctly. A grower is actually gonna do a little research to make sure that you plant the seed as far down as you need, whether it be one foot, two foot, three foot, a um, couple inches, at that, that soil that the seed is going to be in is going to be detrimental to it. So that grower is going to be like, hey man, I need to, I need to make sure I'm, I'm taking advantage of every aspect of growing this plant or growing this idea or career or whatever it may be. And, and they're going to make it grow to what they need. So when they plant that, they're not walking away from the plant. They literally follow through continuously. So they're gonna follow through with this plan, whether it be daily, hourly, weekly, whatever, whatever you need or whatever avenue of approach you need to, to watch your plant flourish, that's what you're gonna do. But when it comes to like say real estate, what you need to do is you need to put that card down somewhere. You need to put it in somebody's pocket. You need to post it on Facebook, post it on IG, share it with friends and family, hand it out in the elevator. But the biggest thing is if you have a contact for any of these people, if you're gonna see these people over and over again, is follow through. Uh, continue to talk to them, continue to, to follow up, asking them questions about their kids, their family, how's their job, you know, how's the day treating them, things like that. And then that is what's gonna have them remember you when it comes time to go into uh, to purchase or to list or to rent. Um, but if you were to, you know, be a grower and, and plant that seed and then come back a year later, that's not, that's not considered a grower. You might as well become a planter again. You know, you're, you're barely putting a presence there. But a grower, look at it like a farmer. A farmer is a grower. 
a farmer will plant the seed, a farmer will come back to check the progress, a farmer will come back to, to give it soil, to give it feed, um, to make sure there's no pest on it, to make sure the birds aren't eating it, to make sure that the, the rodents aren't getting to it, to come out there and produce his crop because he knows when he goes out here successfully every day and maintains this crop, it's gonna produce a product. So let me just tell you, if you're gonna become a realtor, a business owner, uh, successful in school or just any aspect of your life, make sure you're a grower. Make sure you're gonna put and invest time into anything that you do. Never, ever, 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 I'm gonna say it again, ever, sit back and just plant it and then hope you get something. You know, you reap what you sow, but only if you follow what you have sowed. So follow through, continue to watch over what you're doing and just watch it grow, whether it be gaining more employees, whether it be getting more income from whatever source you have, or it's just growing your business so you can, you can feel successful in yourself because that's what you, you sought out to do all right youtube man y'all be cool make sure you like subscribe and enjoy the videos that are coming hopefully i can come out with some personal items man just come out with something funny maybe i'll do some uh some jokes or something like that but uh i love y'all man y'all stay up